I wonder what your reaction is to hear the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. there saying the U.S., its allies, have been successful in isolating Russia. And that's true, largely, although Russia certainly has its allies. Uh, but given the brutality of what we're seeing here, is the world failing? Is the U.S. failing to stop this? Well, here is the thing. Uh, let's be frank. Um, the post-Second World War order is outdated, period. Mm. So what is needed right now? We need to upgrade and actually to craft a new kind of humane, freedom-like uh, global order. Uh, I'm not sure that the UN is really effective right now, e even more. Let me avoid all this political correctiveness. Uh, the UN is a very good body, but which is not effective one. They can't stop massacre. They can bring to justice those who committed crimes against humanity. They can bring to justice Putin, who is a Nazi-style leader. In terms of the US, this is the second part of your question. I want to be very clear. The US is a flagship who decided to fight for freedom in the world and support Ukrainian people. And the US administration managed to solidify and actually to uh, uh, make joint efforts of the European Union, of the entire G7 and the free world uh, to join our ranks in order to help Ukraine. This is unprecedented, let me be very clear, unprecedented pace and unprecedented endeavors made by the US and the free world. But Russia is a very um, big country with nukes, uh, which actually outnumbers us. So we always, we are, we are very clear asking you, please supply more, reach up sanctions, isolate Russia, make Russia to pay and elaborate and craft a new mechanism how to bring to justice those responsible, starting with Putin and ending with every single crony of, of President Putin. 